How's it going everybody? My name is Finplayer. We are playing Jalopy. This is a game that just came out on Steam. It's in uh, it's like a pre-alpha at the moment, so I guess like an early access. It's really interesting though. Like it looks like a like a really sort of fun game to play. It's about a game where you drive around in this old beat up car, and I think you need to maintain it and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and hit new game though and get into it. Thank you for purchasing Jalopy during early access. The game is currently pre-alpha. This means that the core gameplay experience is changing significantly from week to week. I hope you have fun, and please keep in mind that this is a work in progress. Feel free to report any bugs. Okay, cool. So I, I don't quite know, like, you know, if it's like a, an FPS or what it is, because I haven't seen any videos of it. Wake up. Wake up. Okay. Ah, awake finally. Hmm. Stay in bed any longer, and the day will make fools of us both. Okay. Who's that guy? It's a crazy looking jacket. Come now. I have something important to show you. Okay. Come. All right. Alright, so we control it like an FPS. Come, it's just outside. It kind of looks like those old, well I shouldn't say old, but it looks like one of those, you know, those like Cartoon Network sort of cartoons, where the text just sort of stays very still <laughs> as the person moves around. Hey there buddy, I'm trying my best to explain that, but that's really bloody tough. This here is a Laker 601 Deluxe. Hmm, I hope I pronounced that right. I know a lot of car enthusiasts are like, oh Finn, Finn, just shut up Finn. Alright, hey there champ. Oh shit, where'd your eyes and nose and mouth go? Something of an engineering legend in the GDR. Okay, what's the GDR? Great dessert, raspberries. Greg, Debbie, Roger. The grand design rogue. So let's get started. Fit the replacement door. It's, it's over on top of the scrap pile behind you. Okay, scrap pile, yes! If you squint, you'll be able to see it. No, it's right here, I can see it. Oh, okay, all right. We have a door. So why why this car instead of like this car here? I want to drive this one. I like this car better. Can I can I lift that up? No, I can't. I can fondle it, but I can't do anything with it. All right, so let's put that on. There we go. Slap a door on. It's not the same color, but that's fine. Doesn't matter. Less than elegant, but it's on. Yeah, it is. Who are you anyway? All right, right. Now let's fit the engine. Okay. If you open the driver's side door, you'll see a black latch. Pull that, and it will release the bonnet. Oh, see, I thought this was the driver's side door. Because in Australia, the steering wheel is on the other side, and, you know, we drive on the left-hand side of the road. So this is all, like, fucking ass backwards. Can you see the black latch? Um, uh, down here. Is that it? Alright, let's pull that. Now, open the bonnet, and I can walk you through this. You click on the badge. <laughs> the badge opens the bonnet. So as you can see, she needs an engine. Yes, she does. We should probably give this car a name. I'm thinking Beryl. Let's call this car Beryl. As you can see, Beryl needs an engine. I've got a load of stock parts sat at the garage. Go collect one and I'll walk you through what it does. Okay, are these the parts? All right, we have a battery. Let's just collect all the shit. If Beryl won't start, the first place to check is the battery. Okay, go ahead, drop it in the engine. Uh, I guess the battery goes over here. Cool. All right, what else can we carry? We've got an air filter, a fuel tank. Oh, let's just pick up the engine. <laughs> this guy must be the Hulk, because engines are fucking heavy, but this guy just picks it up like it's nothing. The air filter isn't necessarily required to run barrel, but it's a good idea to have one, as it will reduce the rate of wear to your engine block. All right. Go ahead, drop it in the engine. That's the engine block you've got there. The core of barrel's setup. The engine block defines core performance of barrel, including top speed and acceleration. A poorly kept engine block will mean barrel will struggle to perform. <laughs> I don't think barrel will have any problems performing. Go ahead, drop it into the engine. Drop it into the engine? We're dropping the engine into the engine. How about, go ahead, drop it into the engine bay. Let's put that in there. Sweet. Right, that's the carburetor, which controls the fuel consumption of barrel, which in turn controls how many kilometers per liter you get out of barrel. Who's that guy? Why does he have a messed up face? That big lump of metal is the fuel tank, which holds the fuel of barrel. Also, barrel is running a two-stroke engine. This means you want to mix in some oil into the fuel mixture. Damn it. <laughs> I forgot old cars need to do that. This guy has three arms apparently. All right, so we can fill it up all the way until the can's empty. Nice! Go ahead and drop that if you're done with it. Apparently littering is okay in this place. You notice you can use the tire iron, but first we need to fit the road tires. Go ahead and drop that. Now just fit the road tire to the axle. There's one. 
and tighten the bolt with a tire iron. Okay. And now again for the other wheel. Well, we need to pick up the other wheel, don't we? Because you made me drop it. Good. Now you can drop the car jack down, and we'll do the same again for the other side of the car. <laughs> really? Oh, man. They really make you work for driving this car, don't they? Let's get in the car. How do we drive this thing? Okay, before we set off, let's get you familiar with some important companions. Companions? Here we have the maintenance manual. I just want to drive the damn car. It's about bloody time. <laughs> I just want to drive the car. Hey, what's that do? Hazards. Nice. Alright, let's turn the ignition. Yes, it starts! We're freaking geniuses! Awesome! Uh, can we close the door? Um, Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on a minute. Sweet. Handbrake off. And let's start driving. Let's go. Nice. I hope I don't crash. God, the pressure is on me right now. And so begins our journey. Hell yes! Alright, we drive on this side of the road, right? Not the other one. Not the left-hand side. How fast are we going? I think we're going probably too fast. Head towards Dresden. That's what I'm going to do, buddy. Let's go. It feels so strange having the steering wheel on this side. We're traveling to Autobahns for the first part. This should give you a chance to get the grips with Beryl. Whoa! Jesus Christ. <laughs> Doing a bit of drifting in Beryl. Awesome. What's with that thing? Why is there a tank there? Oh, no. Oh, it's a roundabout. Okay. Let's keep going. I feel like I'm about to smash into everything. Are you right? <laughs> this is fun! So I'll go through our j Man, if you keep talking to me, I'm gonna crash. So we'll go through our journey a little with you. Okay. We're heading towards Dresden, so we can cross the border into the Czechoslovak Socialist Republic. Okay. No, wait, that's not right. Didn't they change the name recently? Hmm, what was it? I don't know, but I haven't hit anything yet. I'm feeling pretty bloody proud of myself. Are we gonna run out of fuel or something soon? Aha! That was it. The Czech and Slovak Federation Republic. Okay. I don't think it matters. 40 years now, and a war falls over, so they decided to change the name. Okay, shit, we almost hit the guardrail. There's a beetle! Get the fuck out of the way! I hope the fact that they dropped the socialists from their name- Can you stop talking? I can't fucking read your words and drive at the same time! He's trying to screw me- Oh, oh, we just hit the guardrail. You shouldn't need to worry, just make sure we're not trying to get, take any banned goods across the border. No, I, I don't think so. I think we're all good. You don't have any weed stuffed up your ass or anything? I think we should be fine. Look, I can make my head spin around all the way. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. There's the town. We should head straight for the motel and get a room for the night. Oh, shit. We just hit something. Um, did that guy just crash into the back of us? We've got smoke coming out of the bonnet. Alright, let's not worry about that right now. The engine looks like it's in trouble. It's okay! Oh, it's not the car when it's safe to do so. Alright, we should head straight for the motel and get a room for the night. You already said that! Dude, shut up! You're the reason we crashed. You. Alright, where's the motel? Is that a motel? I think it is. Okay, we'll park her in here. Cool. Here we are. Alright, let's turn the car off. Let's get out. Need to get my, uh, need, forgot my wallet. Need to get my wallet. Where is it? It's gotta be here somewhere. Ah, oh, there it is. It's in the glove box. Hundred bucks. You might want to tuck that in there, buddy. We're fucking gonna get robbed or something. Put it in your pocket. I don't know this neighborhood. Hi again. Here's 20. There you go. I think we just pressed it up against her boob, but that's all right. You'll be staying in room 1A, just down the hall. We kindly ask you to not disturb the other guests during your stay. I'll be in the room if you need me. All right. Do, can I not get my own room? Who is this guy and why am I traveling around with this fella? I like this room. We've got the shitter in there. There's no door. I don't know how I feel about that. I, as long as the guy sort of stays over there while I'm doing my business, that's all right. And I'm glad that we've got separate beds. That's a good thing. Did you bring a black light? I'd like to check my sheets. Make sure they're clean. You know, that's what you should do. You should check these sorts of places. Good night, buddy. <laughs> Are you just going to watch me like that? Let's head out and try and find Mr. Carpet Jacket. Where is he gone? Hey, no worries. See you later. What do you got back here? You got some shit going on? Oh, you're not going to let me in. Thanks. Bye now. I'm just gonna take this. See ya. Better have a look at the engine. It's looking like shit at the moment. We'll need a repair kit to make the repairs. Grab one out of the trunk. Ah, here we go. Awesome. All right, fix that. Fix that one. Um, we, we just took that back out. Why do we do that? Okay, engine's fixed. Let's put this back in the boot. Or the trunk, as you guys call it. Starter up. Let's keep going. All right, handbrake off. 
Now I need to reverse out without crashing. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just gonna reverse up the street. Just like this. Okay. Oh, it's raining. All right. Uh, can we turn the wipers on? Cool. All right, where are we going? Let's go over that way. All right, here's the exit of the town. Let's get the fuck out of this place. Oh, that was bloody close. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, buddy. D do I have to get out? All right, it it's pissing down rain. I don't want to get out of here. What's going on? How are you, mate? Can you, can you tell me what I'm supposed to be doing? What about you? Where am I supposed to go? I can't go through here. It seems like it's all boarded up. And I can't drive the car. The car just stopped. Let's see if I can get this car going again. Come on, Beryl. Let's do this. Let's close the door. No, get back in the car, you idiot. Start the car. Jeez, we're looking pretty empty at the moment. Car's not going anywhere. I think we're out of fuel. That, that could be a possibility. Um, alright. I'm gonna leave the video here, because this is getting kind of weird and I'm sort of stuck. <laughs> This game's pretty cool. The storyline isn't quite grabbing me at this stage, and there isn't really any sort of storyline. But it's kind of fun to, you know, maintain this car and, you know, kind of make sure that it's still running and make sure that, you know, all the parts and stuff are good. It's kind of cool. I'm, I'm kind of, I'm liking it so far. I, I do want to see where it goes. Let me know what you guys think about this game as well in the comments, whether you want to see more. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, give us one of these ones. I'll see you guys next time.